We had Jay approaching Roman Reigns. He said, did Sammy lie to you? And Roman says, I saw everything I needed to see in his eyes. And so it's time for the main event, which is Roman, Sammy, Solo, Jay, and Jimmy against Owens, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Ridge, Holland, and Butch. As noted, the heels had the advantage. And so uh, Butch and Jay start. And then Ridge Holland comes in, and they're just beating the shit out of Jay Uso for minutes on end. I'm just going, my God. Well, they have to. So the, 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 Jimmy's coming out to save his brother. He's hitting the ring to save. Actually, he's going to hit the ring, but then Roman goes, no. Sammy, you go in there, and you're going to help out Jay Uso. So Jay goes out there to help out, uh, or sorry, Sammy goes out there to help out Jay. Fans are chanting Sammy Uso, and really the entire thing was built around Sammy and Jay and Roman. So Roman, of course, is is the last guy in. And prior to that, they had all the spots with everybody. They're doing all their crazy stuff. And there's a spot where Sammy Zayn is... is uh, He's in there, and Jay goes for a super kick, and he misses, and he accidentally hits Sammy. And so Jay super kicks Sammy. Sammy goes down. Jimmy wants to help Sammy up. Jay's like, "No, come on, we got to get this match going here." And you know, Jimmy kind of feels there bad was also for the guy. there was also a spot earlier where um, where Sammy saved Jay. Well, know, throughout earlier. the entire match, Sammy is is trying to help Jay out. Then yeah. Jay accidentally kicks him. And then finally, Roman is the last guy to enter the ring, and he runs wild there for a while. They did the uh, the 10 beats on all the guys, all the baby faces doing him to the It was 25. It wasn't even 10. It ended up being 25, yeah. They yeah. weren't going to do the 10. But. So finally, at the end, uh, you know, do a bunch of big spots. Everybody needs to finish her. Everybody's down. And so Owens and Reigns are in the ring together. And Reigns hits the Superman punch. Kevin Owens gives him the super kick. He hits him with a pop-up power bomb. He hits the stunner. He goes to make the cover. And Sami Zayn doesn't break up the pin. He doesn't hit Kevin Owens. But he stops the referee from counting. And so Kevin looks at Sami. And Sami looks at Kevin. And they both get on their feet. And Kevin starts screaming at him. You, guys, you think these guys are your family? You think these guys are your family? And so the crowd's chanting Sammy Uso at the guy. And so uh, oh, uh, Jimmy tries a super kick. Kevin Owens blocks it. And then Sammy Zayn kicks Kevin Owens right in the balls. And he Kevin Owens stumbles to the corner. Sammy hits the running kick in the corner. And then he turns and he looks at Jey Uso. And he points to the top rope and he hands him over Kevin Owens as a sacrifice. And Jay hits the big splash, pins Kevin Owens, the, uh, I can't say the heels. The Bloodline wins this match, and then they're all kind of looking at each other for a while, trying to figure out what's going on here. And then Reigns gives Sammy the big hug, and the place goes crazy. And then Jay looks at him, and Jay gives Sammy the big hug, and it gets an even bigger pop. And then all the Bloodline poses together, and I watched this, and I thought, my God. It's so great right now. And they've done nothing to screw this up, by the way. And I I, uh, I have confidence this is going to turn out quite well here in the end. Just because everybody is so great in their role, and the fans are just waiting. They're just waiting to see where this goes. And I think it's going to be Kevin Owens and Roman in Montreal. Could, because be, you can't, could, be, a, could be in Rumble, could be in Montreal. Could well, be, you, can't uh, do, you can't do the tag title change in Montreal because I don't think Jimmy can get over the border. Right? Uh, good point. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you you'd that. have to do the beatdown and the save or something there. Yeah. And then do the tag match at uh, WrestleMania, which I think is better anyway. I mean, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns in Montreal, and something happens, and Roman wins, and they're killing Kevin, and then Sammy can take no more, and he runs down and makes a save, and then he gets beaten down, and that leads to the tag match. I think that'd be great. There are there's there's 15 ways you can do it and and many and they would all be good, um, you know. So, but yeah, yeah. Um, the Montreal show is going to be very very hot though somehow because they'll build it around Owens and Sami Zayn and and it's good because those guys. Um, it's like it's like they have a shot to be to become like real legends this year in Montreal. You know that that could you know be there and and uh, you know even after their WWE career can make appearances and things like that on. On shows in the area and stuff like that, you know, and and uh, or in WWE special events later, you know, down the line and everything. So um, it's always cool to be able to build like real local legends. 
So at the end of the day, I mean, to me, the the War Games matches, I mean, I don't think they were great War Games matches as far as, like, a War Games match. But really, like, I thought the main event angle was was good enough that when it was over, I felt it was worthwhile to have watched this show. That's how much I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Well, angle. I mean, there was, I mean, again, watching the show, to me, it was an easy show to watch. I would have, I, I would have cut both War Games matches down about 12 minutes each. Um, because you could get to the same thing without all of that. Um, but I mean, as far as, um, you know, AJ and I mean, um, AJ and Finn Balor was fine to watch. Um, the three way was great. And, uh, you know, the Rousey match was bad, but it was short. So, I mean, it was, I mean, I would consider it a, a, a good show. Not, a, not, I can't call it a great show because, I mean, I mean, if this show was like three years ago or five years ago, I might've called it a great show, but the standard is so freaking high. And and this wasn't that elite standard, so to speak, of a great show like you would see in many other places. But it was a, a very good show. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle load? <laughs> and Brian Hawks. <laughs> I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where would Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh! I have right. never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.